Hello everyone, my name is Amrita Nanduri and today I'm going to talk about menta piperida. The common name for this organism is the peppermint plant. The peppermint plant is a hybrid cross between a watermelon plant and a spearmint plant. And this is what a watermelon plant looks like and this is what a spearmint plant looks like. And this is the picture showing the peppermint plant. The leaves of the peppermint plant are similar to the leaves of the spearmint plant. And the veins in these leaves are of branch structure, which are a visual characteristic for a dicot. Menta piperida is a flowering plant which produces flowers which are purple in color, as shown in this picture. And Menta piperida is rarely abundant in the parts of North America, Europe, and Asia. It is abundant due to its fibrous root system, which helps it to grow through the surrounding grounds and grow rapidly. And this is also a map showing the parts where the plant is really productive. Menta piperida grows really well in the soil, uh, which has which is rich in nutrients and also moist. And when growing the plant, Changing the location for every consecutive year would help it grow better than staying in the same place for a long time and it leads to weak community roots. And this is the linear classification of Manta Piperata. And the domain this organism belongs to is Eukarya, as it is a multicellular organism. In the kingdom it belongs to is Planta, as it produces cellulose with the help of photosynthesis. The phylum it belongs to is Magneliophyta, and the class it belongs to is the Magneliocyta. And the order is Lemylase. The, fa the family it belongs to is actually a mint family, which is also known as Lemaisia. Lemaisia. The genus is Menta, and the species is Piperida. And this is the phylogenetic tree for Menta Piperida. Menta piperida is the sister taxa of it, Sylvia mitoriza, and these other organisms are related to Menta piperida in the, in the tree. And the life cycle of Menta piperida begins with the male and reproductive parts of the flower. The male reproductive part is the stamen, and the female reproductive part is the pestle the ovary in the pestle. And when they go to meiosis, the, the stamen gives rise to a microspore and the ovary gives rise to a megaspore. And when the microspore goes to mitosis, it gives rise to a pollen grain. And the megaspore goes to mitosis to give rise to an egg with a pollen tube. And the pollen grains enters the pollen tube and fertilization occurs, and it gives rise to a zygote, which is a diploid. And the, the zygote grows into a seed, and it, it continues to germinate and turns into a plant, and then the flowers, flowers produce, and the cycle goes on. So this is the life cycle of Menta piperida. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you.